the apostles gathered around Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a deserted place by themselves. Now many saw them going and recognised them, and they hurried there on foot from all the towns and arrived ahead of them. As he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. When they had crossed over, they came to a land at Gennesaret and moored the boat. When they got out of the boat, people at once recognised him and rushed about that whole region and began to bring the sick on mats to wherever he, they heard he was. And wherever he went, into villages or cities or farms, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his cloak. And all who touched it were healed. He saw a great crowd and had compassion for them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. As we think of our Christian calling, we always aspire to interact with others as Jesus does. Our reading from Mark is among one of my favourite Bible passages because it gives a clear insight into the heart of Jesus, into the way he interacts both with his disciples and with a persistent crowd, an insight into Jesus the shepherd leading his flock with love and compassion. The disciples had just returned to Jesus, having been sent out by him for the first time to teach. I imagine they had come back with lots of stories, stories of where they had been made very welcome and stories where they had not been made so welcome and they'd had to follow Jesus' instructions to leave and as they left to shake the sand off their feet. Then, as now, the work of ministry can take a toll. Rest is important for everyone and it is also important that there is someone to talk with about all that has happened to us, the highs and the lows. Jesus has been a shepherd to his disciples. He continues to be a shepherd to them and now he is training them to be shepherds to other people, to shepherd those new to the faith. And as he wants to take them away to a quiet place of rest, just as he does this, the crowd pursue him. I wonder what thoughts are going through his mind. I wonder what thoughts are going through our minds as we think about how we may have reacted at a time when we needed rest, the temptation to hide away maybe. Jesus could have dismissed them or found a way to escape the persistent crowd, but he does neither. Instead, Mark records that he had compassion on them. I do wonder if maybe Jesus sent the disciples on ahead of him to a place where they could rest. The importance of rest for all must not be downplayed. And we can all play our part in ensuring that each of us has times of rest, times of not being overwhelmed. Mark has given us a glimpse into the heart of Jesus, a glimpse of him as a shepherd who cares for his flock, nurtures them, feeds them, protects them and loves them. Mark reminds us of the joy it is to be cared for by Jesus. Many of that persistent crowd were healed, even simply by touching the fringes of his cloak. Mark reminds us that Jesus is sympathetic and kind, and he loves all the sheep of his fold. Mark reminds us that Jesus has compassion for all people, those who are lost and wandering, and all those around him. We must strive to cultivate this same kind of compassionate heart towards the lost and towards all who live around us. Amen. Lord Father God, we come before you today with our thoughts and concerns for the world, but also to give you thanks that you are a generous God who is faithful to your people. We pray, Father God, for the world and your church within the world, 
that we may see your word reaching out to those who have never heard it. We recognise that the Freedom Day is coming, Lord, and people feel that they can go out and act more normally. But we ask that you make us considerate of each other and that we act wisely and sensibly in how we use our new freedom. We look forward to the day, Lord, when the restrictions no longer affect your church. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our church, for the churches in the Greater Dudley Deanery and all who are leaders within those churches and volunteers who give their time willingly to service your communities, Lord. And we pray that these people will find rest. Lord, you saw and how much the disciples needed rest and encouraged it. And so we pray for Sabbath rest for all who are in need this summer, that they may be restored, Lord, and may find peace with you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who throughout Europe have lost their homes, Lord, and been affected by the floods. We recognise that there has been death and destruction. And we pray, Father God, that all agencies will be able to work together to help these people in these communities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, for those who are sick in body, mind and spirit. We pray for all whose health issues were neglected due to COVID. And we ask, Lord, that you give strength to all doctors, nurses and care workers, that they may find strength to be able to continue their work and comfort all who suffer. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are mourning at this time and for all the souls of those who have died recently. Comfort those who mourn, Lord. And we pause to bring before you those who are known to us personally. Help us as we remember those who have died in the faith of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we come together with the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. <laughs> 